looking at uh, some of Eric's maps that he was sharing on Twitter tonight. And really no snow anywhere in the country, which is interesting because tomorrow's December 1st. Yeah, and disappointing to kids who've been That's looking true. forward to a right. little sledding. But Eric, we know it's coming eventually. Yeah, every once in a while you get an early season treat, if you will, but not the case this year. The 1st of December, not covered from snow from Stockbridge to Boston or really anywhere in the country. And kind of a fun fact, that song, which you all know, I think, at this point, we never actually had snow on the ground from Stockbridge to Boston this century. Anytime since 2000, there hasn't been a December 1st all the way from Berkshires to Boston. Right now, mainly the snow is in the northern Rockies and a little bit in northern Vermont as well. This is record low levels for the start of December. When do we usually see our first inch here in southern New England? It tends to be late November into early December. It'll be late this year in Worcester as well as in Hartford and perhaps very much on time in Boston and Providence. We'll see with a pattern shift heading toward the middle of the month. Tonight, it's raindrops, cold front moving in from the west, and this is going to bring some light showers around. That rain right now pushing its way out of western Mass and into Worcester County, as well as southern New Hampshire. We'll pick up about a tenth of an inch of rainfall overnight tonight. And it's just rain, no icing. Temperatures are actually quite mild, so we're not anticipating any wintry stuff with this one. It races off toward the east. It is gone by tomorrow morning, so heading off toward work or going for an early morning run. We should be dry early in the morning. Could be a few leftover showers still on Cape Cod and the islands. Otherwise, we're back into the sunshine for another pretty quiet day to kick off the new month. So showers ending very early. The wind will turn to the northwest, but it's still a pretty mild day. We'll have high temps close to 50 degrees. The mix of sun and clouds and a quiet Friday night as we get ready for the first weekend of December. And one week from tomorrow, our sunsets start to get later again. So we're almost bottoming out already with those early sunset times. High temp near 50 in Boston and Bedford, 53 in Hyannis tomorrow, 46 in Worcester, and about 45 in Jaffrey. Pretty easy stuff. And the weekend, looking pretty good too. Temperatures, 40s by day, 20s and 30s at night, high pressures in control, and a lot of sunshine out there. That's all she wrote. So we're looking at a seasonable weekend and a good one to get ready for winter weather eventually here. So you still have some chores in the yards and things to get done, getting the wood pile ready to go. I think this weekend's a great opportunity to do it. We're heading toward the slopes. Well, they haven't had a lot of snowfall this week, but they're making plenty of snow in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees across northern New England. And how about the Christmas stroll on Nantucket? Been doing this over 40 years. Early morning shower tomorrow, but mostly dry and mostly comfortable and not too much wind on Nantucket. Now, there's one thing that there is of note this weekend, and that is the supermoon. It's the only supermoon of 2017. We're actually going to get three in a row. This one, the next full moon, and the next full moon, and that second one in January. There's two in the same month. That makes it a blue moon and a supermoon. So we'll talk about that coming up in January. But the main impact for us is it'll be beautiful outside. And we're going to see some big tides. Extra high high tides, extra low low tides, and that's especially true for the weekend into the start of next week. These are some of our highest tides of the year. Now, our next actual storminess is late on Tuesday and into Wednesday. This will be a mild rainstorm, even a chance for some 60s before that pattern shift to more colder wintry weather. So there's the seven day, and it's very bright for the next several days. We get some rainfall, and then well, we'll start thinking about winter on Thursday. David and Lisa, over to you. Mm -hmm. I love how you worked that James Taylor right. in. I